Hi everybody, today we're gonna to do something really special. You guys are in a lot of Zoom calls lately, probably with your family and definitely with your teachers. And so we're gonna do something kind of fun. Last week I showed you something about pop art, right? We learned about popular culture and we learned about Andy Warhol. So inspired by pop art, we're gonna do something totally different. Now in our popular culture, we have a lot of technology, right? So we see emojis all over the place. So we're gonna be inspired by emojis and we're gonna make our very own emoji feeling sign, right? So here is love. So if I love something, I'm going to give it a heart sign. You can use these during your Zoom calls with your family. If you're gonna use them with your teachers, do me a favor and make sure you talk to them about that first because I don't want you to interrupt your Zoom with your teachers doing something too silly. But they might like it for a game that you play. If you wanna say you like something quietly, this could be a fun thing to use. So a heart emoji, sad face emojis, my favorite one, I use this one all the time. Excited emoji. This one's also really good. Laughing so hard I'm crying emoji. And last but not least, this is a good one to use. You're thinking about it, right? Hmm, I'm thinking. So these are five different emojis that we're gonna make and I used a pencil to stick them on. You could use popsicle sticks. You could use anything, a marker, a crayon to be your your holder for your signs and we're making emoji faces today. So I'm going to turn you down and show you how. Hi everybody. So now we're going to make our emoji feelings. So I'm going to use a can. I'm going to use that can that we created last time and I'm going to do five circles for my five different emotions. Now you can pick just one or you can do all five with me. Totally up to you. So let me trace out these circles. I'll hold my can and kind of go around. I'm using a pencil in case I make a mistake, no big deal. And I'm gonna keep going. Now that I have my five circles for my five different emojis, I'm gonna start with my first one. So here is my I heart emoji. I love this one, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna put this one here and get a little bit closer. First thing I'm gonna draw is two heart eyes. Looks like an upside down J or a candy cane. And I'm gonna do it again on the other side. Let's try that one more time. An upside down J or a little shoop, a candy cane. And then on this side, I'm gonna do the same curved line. And now I'm gonna draw a curved line for a smile. So I have my heart emoji. Next, I'm gonna draw my sad emoji. So I'm going to put this one here so you can see right here where I'm drawing and I'm going to do a slightly curved line at the top and another slight curved line. Now I'm going to put, it almost looks like a happy face line and a happy face line even though this doesn't look happy, but it's that same happy face curve, an upside down bump and then a straight line. And there's my sad face emoji. Now let's try my laughing so hard emoji. Are you ready? I'm gonna draw a, it's a slanted line right here. It's like a little shape. I'm gonna come over here and do that again. I'm gonna draw an upside down frowny face, a bump and a bump. And now I'm gonna put my teardrop coming off the eye. It's just a swoop around, almost like the letter C right here, the letter C, and then I pull that line up. So if I'm having trouble with that one, let me redo it one more time so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna draw a little curve and then come up and up. And I recommend you draw lightly in case you make a mistake. And now I'm gonna come across a curve line and come down and then do a line across. And there's my happy one. And now these ones are a little bit trickier. We have, I'm so excited emoji. So I'm gonna draw my hands down here. So when you draw your hands attached, your thumbs are on the inside and your fingers are on the outside. So for my thumb, I'm gonna draw a curve, almost like 
an oval shape, but this is missing here. So I just start my curve and I stop with my oval. And I'm gonna come up and do a big finger and one, two, three, and loop around. Now is that perfect? No, don't worry about it. I'm gonna do that oval shape again, but I'm gonna miss the bottom. And I'm gonna do it one finger, two finger, three finger, four, and around. And as you can see these little lines, this is where I can erase. And this is where it'd be good to use a very light pencil mark so that you can erase it very easily. You can still see some of my pencil lines, so I wanna be careful to draw really light when I'm making mine. And I can always fix this, go back over, erase things, make it look a little bit neater. And now I'm going to do a curved happy and then an upside down bump line, kind of like that frowny face, but I came back. So I'm gonna do one more and then I'm gonna come back again. So there's my excited face. And last but not least, we're gonna put my thinking face right here. So let's start with the hand. It's gonna come a line up, curve down like that same oval, but I'm missing that section. And now this looks kind of like an L, doesn't it? The letter L, and I'm gonna swoop back down, and then I'm gonna do my four, my three leftover fingers as bumps. One, two, three, and come back around. Now that line right there, I can erase, and you can see I made a little mistake, no big deal. And there's my hand. So now I'm gonna do my slow little low mouth, that little curve. I'm gonna do an eyebrow and an eyebrow and a circle and a circle. And here's my thinking face emoji. So now that I've drawn out all my emojis and you can see they're all finished, now I'm ready to color. So I wanna be careful when I'm coloring them in to see when I do my heart face, I don't wanna color the red first because when I go over with the yellow, it's gonna smear all that red. So I wanna color yellow first. So I'm gonna take my marker and I can actually go right over the whole thing. And if I'm outside of my lines, I'm not gonna worry about it because I'm gonna cut that out. So that's no big deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and color this all in the whole thing yellow. And now I'm going to go back to my red and I'm gonna color over and fill that in. And I'm gonna come over here and do the same thing. And here I can do my black for my mouth. And there's my heart emoji. Now I'm gonna move on to my sad face emoji. And as you can see, it's all yellow and then it's just the black lines on top. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. I can go over the whole entire thing and fill the whole thing in. Make sure that you don't leave any white spaces. You really fill the whole emoji in. If your markers are drying out on you, you can always add a little bit of water to your picture and it will spread the marker out a little bit more. Or you can color this in crayon. It doesn't have to be in marker. And now I'm going to draw my black lines over my face. And now this one is a little bit different. My crying emoji, I need to leave some spots. So I'm gonna color everything yellow except my teardrops from laughing so hard, right? So I wanna make sure I leave those little spots empty. And my mouth, I'm gonna go around my mouth. I'm gonna try to get to as close as the pencil line as I can. And now the rest can be all yellow. So I wanna make sure that my teardrops stay white because I'm gonna fill those in blue. And if I put blue over the yellow, I'm gonna have a green tear because blue and yellow make green. So I don't want a green tear, I want a blue tear. So I'm gonna leave that nice and blank and white to fill in my tear. And now, I'm gonna use blue crayon for this, but you could totally use marker. 
Oh, you can see it turned a little green, that's okay. And now I'm gonna take my black marker. I can outline this one if I wanna fix that little spot. I made a mistake, no big deal. I'm gonna outline, outline, color that all in, color that all in, and then outline this, fill that in, and then I'm gonna fill this in. There we go. Now I made a little bit of a mistake here. I'm not gonna worry about it, that's okay. So now I have my laughing emoji finished. Now I'm gonna go on to my excited emoji. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get a orange crayon and I'm gonna fill in these little cheeks that kind of look like they're blushing because they're so excited. And I'm just going back and forth very lightly making an oval-like shape. It's not a perfect circle but it's that ovaly shape of going back and forth like this. And next, I'm gonna color the whole thing in yellow. My hands, my face, and I go right over the crayon. That's okay, it still pops through. And remember, you wanna color little, 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 taking your time so there's no white spaces. And we're gonna outline all of this so that you can really see it pop just like we did with the rest of them. Almost done here. And if you get outside of the lines, don't worry about that because we're gonna be cutting that out. So do a double take. Is there any little spots you could fill in to make it really finished? And now I'm gonna go over my mouth I'm going to trace over my pencil lines. Go nice and slow here so that if you make a mistake, it's a little bit easier to catch yourself. And you're gonna keep tracing over all those pencil lines. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm going to fill in this little spot and fill in this little spot. And there my excited emojis done. And I'm gonna do the same exact technique with my thinking emoji, where I fill in the entire hand, the entire face, and I can go over this whole thing in yellow because the, whole, the rest of it is in black. So you can see that one here. So I'm gonna fill this all in. Don't leave any little white spaces, but don't worry if you get it outside of the line because we're gonna be cutting these out so it won't even matter. So if you wanna go a little bit faster and go outside of your line, no big deal. You're gonna fill all this in. Do a double check. Did I miss any little spots I could do an extra fill in? Okay. And now I'm going to do my black lines over. Oh, I could go over that a little bit more and go nice and slow around there. Okay, now I'm ready to cut out all these emojis. So I'm gonna show you a little trick for the hands first. The these rest of these are circles. So I'm gonna cut this out into a little bit of a square to make it a little bit easier to do. And now when I cut, I'm gonna cut around my hand like a circle. I'm not gonna worry about getting into those little details quite yet. I'll cut those out after. Now I'm gonna slowly go around my circle. And the same thing here, I'm just gonna cut around the fingers, leaving the little bits of white. I'm gonna trim that after. And I'm gonna come back down here, go nice and slow. Put your paper in the back of your scissors, right? And now I'm gonna trim these little things. Now careful if I smear that because my hands are a little bit wet or I have marker on them. Be careful where you put your fingers when you're holding this. And I'm gonna keep going around very carefully. So let me show you that one more time. So on this side right here, I'm gonna open up my scissors and I'm gonna put them in the back and I'm very slowly going to trim out and very carefully. Now, if this is really tricky for you, you can always ask a family member at home for a little bit of help, but I want you to give it a try. 
And that's how I trimmed out my hands. So here, oh, I made a little mistake, no big deal. I can trim that off. So you can see how I did the hands. And I'm gonna do that with all of these and keep going around. Let me show you in fast motion. Now I wanna tape these. Now I can just hold them up like this when I wanna use them or I can take some tape and I could use a pencil, a popsicle stick, anything, and put it on the back to turn it into a little sign. So that is totally up to you if you wanna add a stick and you wanna tape these. So, oh, little crooked, that's okay. Let me try that again. So make sure that you look at the front, make sure it fits and it's straight, and then you seal it on, right? That would make more sense. So let's flip it over and then attach that one more time with a big piece of tape and then flip it over and you have an emoji. Hi everybody, I hope you had fun making your pop art emoji faces and that you can use them with your family and friends and maybe your teachers, make sure you ask first though. I don't wanna get anybody in trouble for being silly during a Zoom call. And you can even hang these in your room. You do not have to put them on pencils or popsicle sticks and they don't have to be a face mask, but you could totally use them that way. It's totally up to you. I'm so excited that you're coming to art with me through these videos and I can't wait to see what you make next. Bye everybody.